six, nine, Today we're going to upgrade this ROG Ali Z1 Extreme from the stock M.2 SSD to a Western Digital SN740 2TB. So the process is fairly easy but you have to do it correctly otherwise you won't be able to connect to the server to restore the, your Windows 11. So follow along and you will succeed. First thing we do is take out these bolts on all these sides. There are five here. You take all of them out which are here these are the bolts they are all the same size so you don't have to put them in in a order or something and then there is one last screw here and this doesn't come out so don't try to take that one out you just unscrew it that's all and then what i found out is on the bottom side here it's the easiest way to go with a guitar pick or something like i fix it with this just slide along along the side here on the bottom and it will come off really easily. Do not start from the top because the top is really narrow and you might damage the plastic bits. Once you open this side up with the help of this guitar pick, it pops out like this. We put this aside and then you get to the inside. You just see your motherboard, your fans, your battery and all the connectors that are there. First thing you have to do is take out this battery connector here because if you touch anything and you are like, you know, statically uh, loaded, you might damage something. So we just take this with one hand and pull this backwards like this. This is now disconnected. And now we can get to the M.2, which is underneath this black uh, double-sided tape. It's here and you, all you have to do is unscrew it. I'm trying to show you, it's just here. Here is one screw. You have to do it carefully without stripping the bolt. So we just take this off. That's it, put this aside as well. And what you have to do now is pull it down towards you. Maybe we should just take this off just like that put it aside I just noticed there is a small black tap here which kind of helps you to lift it off yeah there we go so you pull this black tap upwards so that your drive lifts a little bit up then it's easier to remove it so we have a drive here which is 512 the stock one I can't see really a brand branding on it I don't know which mic it's a micron it's a micron drive so yeah put this aside do not throw it away or give it away or sell it because if anything happens to your rog alley you will have to put this back in there and then send it with the original part because otherwise you might lose your warranty anyways so we take the drive the new drive which is a western digital sn 740 and the two terabyte version, which is like really a lot. And so you take it from the edges here. Do not touch this bit here in the front, which is the connector bit. And we just align it here, right in the tap, right there. And then you push it slow, slightly in. There we go. We heard two clicks. It just now sits in there. Make sure it's really flush. And now you take the bolt again that we removed before and we just put it back in there. Do not over tighten it, that's it. And we just took this away, so we're gonna paste this back on there. It's just a, well, protective layer. Just paste it on there. Right, like that. Now, the installation of the hardware bit is completed. What you have to do now is plug your battery connector back in. There we go. We just plugged it back in and make sure it's fully in there. You have to install the back plate back in or you have to cover this bit here. I think it was here. Uh, it's the sensor. So it just checks if the back plate is back on there. So we'll just install it because we, we have installed it. I am sure that it has gone right. So what we have to do is put the upper bit first in, just like that, click it here in, like that. And then we just slowly click every bit of it in, just like this. 
and then turn it upside down and click these bits in. You can't click this in because it's the screw that is holding it against. We have to turn it back on, but we just plug this charger back in there for a couple of seconds, just like that. And then you see that the indicator, the charging indicator turns on. So we have to just turn it on. If everything has gone well, your ROG Alley boot up, but it will immediately go to the BIOS if everything is fine. So we'll just check what's gonna happen now. There we go. Now we are in the BIOS settings and here you have the time and everything. So we have to change this back to original time. Month is, yeah, you, we just click here and then we are eight, enter. And this is 23, enter, 23 is right. Hour, it's now 13 o'clock. So 13, um, we'll just wait until it's 18. 18, enter. That's it, and then save. So now we have the correct timing uh, and date, which will help us when we do the recovery. Let's go to advanced mode again. And then we press advanced. And then here, the first thing you have is, let's go back, is cloud recovery. So we click that and you just privacy note, yes, yes, yes. We just click there above 20 years of age, I agree. So now it's gonna check the network. So first thing you do is add cloud recovery. So now we just type in the Wi-Fi code. connection successfully we just okay that now it's gonna just check the network there we go and now following better overall 20% of battery connected to stable Wi-Fi network everything is fine we just say next and now it's just going to download everything the cloud recovery this might take some time so yeah you can just plug your device into mains and then let it do its thing and once it's finished, we'll continue. Now the cloud recovery is completed. So we just press confirm. And you will see the Windows logo here. And you have to just follow along whilst it just set, sets the Windows 11 up for you. So now after the check and confirming that the cloud recovery is fine, it's asking for, do you want to back up your files? We just say no, because it's a new drive. Are you sure you want to start the cloud recovery process? We just say yes. And it's going to go for the, the process again, and this might take a while again. So we'll just have to wait along until this process is done as well. So now after the installation of this cloud recovery, it did take a long time, guys. Let me warn you, it does take more than one hour. And once it's finished, it, um, I had one issue, which is when I wanted to type in the Wi-Fi password, it wouldn't give me the keyboard. So I had to connect an external keyboard. That's how I could enter it. It just wouldn't give me any keyboard, digital keyboard on the screen, which is weird, but that's what happened. So now I tested the drive that I put in. These are the speeds that it's outputting, like 5,276 uh, uh, megabytes per second and also for uh, 4,821 megabytes per second for write. Yeah, it is a nice drive and I could see here it's only been turned on by four times, which is the times that it has been uh, restarting. So it was a completely new drive, which is like how it's supposed to be. So I can only say good things about uh, the seller, which I will also put a link in the description below, where you can also get this two terabyte or one terabyte drives and install it as I just did. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to install the upgrade for your M.2 SSD. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and it was easy to follow. So if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!